Alright, today we're doing an unboxing. I decided to order a pair of fake Air Force Ones and compare them to the real Air Force Ones I have here. I bought it from a site called DHGate. I'll put a link below if you guys are into that type of stuff and want to order your own. I ended up paying, I want to say for the shoes, was $16.53 plus shipping was around $9. 45 they had a sale going on so I want to say I paid so about 24 bucks compared to 110 We are not saying to go buy counterfeit. We just want to do our own comparison. So this is strictly for educational purposes. Let's go This is the package Where it came from of course It's not coming in a box. It's smushed pretty good compared to these which are the same size where you can Definitely tell the difference as far as shipping wise. Hope you don't care about that, but alright, let's go. I come in a bag that says Nike. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because I kind of cut into them. There it goes. Nike. What can you get for? only 25 bucks first and foremost I can tell the difference just in the quality all right one of the main things I don't know if you guys will be able to see but the Air Force one on that one is upside down they didn't even, <laughs> they didn't even take take the time to put it the right way so also from what I can tell the stitching, there's improper stitching like they always tell you to look. So, once I'm get done with the overview, I'll show you guys a more in-depth look of what I'm seeing. One of the main differences that anybody that purchases Air Force Ones can tell you. Is the two holes right there. These don't have them. All in all... They'll be a good pair of shoes to practice on. That's, that's about it. Practice on or if you feel like wearing these with an outfit and don't care if they get ruined. That'd be another thing I'd say go ahead to. Other than that, the quality on these are horrible. <laughs> Alright, and here they are. And you can see these have like a sparkling type. Air Force One, these are counterfeit, these are the real ones, as you can tell, these are crisp white ones, these are something else right there, but to each their own, you can tell, there's Nike, everybody who knows about Nike Air Force One, no, it doesn't just say Nike in there, here's the real ones, they actually say Air Force One in them, let me turn them around so you guys can get a better look. Here's the counterfeit ones. <laughs> they just say Nike on them. Here's the other thing I was telling you guys about. Look at the cut on those. Nice and crisp. These. They're uneven. This one's a, <laughs> a lot shorter than those. And what are those? They're thick. Thick piece of material right there. Compared to. The slim ones. But man. There's a little height difference right there. Alright. Let's go look at the bottom of them. Let's look at the bottom of them. Here's the real one. You can see everything looks pretty good. Nike, everything's detailed. This down here has... Little stars, and you can tell them popping out. Not the counter ones, counterfeit ones. Barely have any grip. They're lacking in the detailing. And the stars almost look like they're faded.
There's no grip on the bottom of that. And this one's not even cut right. So if you need like a pair of shoes you really don't care about, then buy those. And there's the two holes that I'm talking about. The real ones have two holes on the lower end underneath the swoosh. Counterfeit has none. Now some of the ones that you purchase at a higher price, they have moved to putting holes in there. So definitely be careful, but that's one of the signs. Another one is the stitching. You can tell the stitching not perfect in that one. Here's the real one. Spacing and everything. Stitching looks perfect on all of them. This is what I was telling you about. Air Force One is a upside down on that one the AF1 is upside down they didn't even take time to put it facing the right way like the real ones man they did a terrible job on these counterfeits not even the holes on there are correct so what I'll, I'll probably use these just as a pair for work and maybe a pair to practice on before I tackle the real ones we have two pairs of those that are gonna be customized soon so if you guys want to see those customized stay tuned for right now I'm doing practice on cheaper shoes like the Walmart ones that aren't counterfeit they just look very similar and let me show you the last bit of the terrible stitching that and right here. Alright, and there you have it. Fake Air Force Ones. I mean, for 25 bucks, what do you do expect? You know what I mean? Quality of leather feels crappy. Quality of the material is lacking. Stitching is lacking. Attention to detail is definitely lacking. So. Definitely just just cough up the more money and buy the official ones. Alright? You'll be happier. Real ones feel a lot better overall. And I'm just telling you, just in general, the quality feels better. If you give these other ones to anybody that wears Air Force Ones, they're gonna be able to tell that these are not the real deal. Especially with their little fake Nike tag. It's not working. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you guys want to see more like this where we might buy more from that site and compare it to the stuff we have, let me know below. Till next time, appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you ain't. And that's about it. Later.